Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a reveal from Bobble Bomb. This is their Monster Madness Bath Bomb. And if you watched my unboxing video, then you may already know that this is basically the same company as Jewel Scent. So the jewelry is coming from the same place and the place where the bath bombs are created are also coming from the same place. So the only few differences about this company, their bath bombs are more expensive. Their jewelry minimum appraisal is 20 versus 15 with Jewel Scent. Um, and that's pretty much it. Well, no, sorry. You can pick uh, what kind of jewelry you want in each bath bomb and they don't sell candles either. So there are some differences, but it's essentially the same product and the same company that's providing the jewelry. So um, Jewel Scent, they still have their candles, uh, wax tarts, body scrubs, uh, lotions. They have a lot of other stuff. So I'm not like hating that they're coming from the same place, but I just thought it was really weird. They didn't tell their consultants. So, I mean, that's a whole nother <laughs> video. I, I talked about it a little bit in the unboxing of the Halloween. If they had not produced the same looking bath bombs, I would have never known. I mean, I definitely noticed similarities in the bath bombs. They're both lightly pigmented. They're both bubbly um, once you get in the tub, but um, I was not, you know, under the impression they were the same company until I saw the pictures and the products and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so this bath bomb, it has a ton of fragrance notes all over the place. Cherry, plum, raspberry, peach, cedarwood, pine needles, and grapefruit. It's like it started off so good with all these fruity scents and then they threw in cedarwood and pine needles. Like I don't understand that. Um, it did not smell fruity at all. It smelled more musky to me. Um, and with the green and the purple mixing, the water actually turned a pretty cool like gray color. So that was kind of fun. With this one, I didn't remember at the time, but I had actually chosen a necklace. So typically I do go for the rings, but occasionally I do go for necklaces with other products. So you'll see here in just a moment what I got. This bath bomb did last a really long time. And there's the water, it looks pretty cool. Their bath bombs are always a little foamy and bubbly as if there's a little bit of bubble bath mixed in with them. And the necklace, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, I've gotten this at least once, if not twice before. Um, they give you a little code. It says it appraised for $20. A little bummed that uh, I've already gotten this before, but again, that's kind of a jewel scent thing lately. I don't know why, but I've been getting tons of duplicates. Something has definitely changed. I think the jewelry is still coming from the same place possibly, but just not as much variety as it used to be, which is sad. So that is what I got. I have a ton more of the Halloween ones coming, so stay tuned in case you're interested. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.